Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on GitHub in 2024. So today we're stepping up to your GitHub account security by enabling the two-factor authentication, 2FA. With 2FA, you will add an extra layer of protection to your GitHub account, ensuring your code repositories remain secure. So, join me as I walk you through the process of enabling the 2FA on your GitHub account in 2024, and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end, so you have full experience. First, you will need to go and open your GitHub account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, this could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and type github.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen right away. So if you have an account, make sure to go to this top right corner and click on sign in to sign in into your account. If you don't have an account instead, click on sign up to sign up into a new account. So for me, I already have an account, so I'll just go and click on sign in and I'll simply enter my information right here as an example and click on sign in. So, okay, it's a wrong password. Let me just go and check the other one. Yeah, it seems like they log me in. I'll just save that for future logins. So this is normally is going to be my dashboard on GitHub. What I will need to do is simply go and open the GitHub settings. Normally, once you're logged in into your account and you find yourself on the dashboard, you'll have to click on your profile icon at the top right corner. Go and click on that. And as you can see from here, you will find a lot of options. So make sure to look for settings. You'll find it right here and just go and click on it. Once you click on it here, make sure to go and access your account security. For GitHub normally, you'll find your security like settings and this password and authentication. So simply just go and click on that. Once you click on it, you'll find yourself on a page like this. And as you can see, you can change the password if you want. You'll basically have to enter your old password, your new password, and confirm the new password. And click on update password if you want to. And if you forgot your password, you can click on it here to uh, change this through just your email. So what we'll need to do is simply scroll down until we find this two-factor authentication, which is the 2FA that we talked about in this video. To activate it, as you can see, two-factor authentication adds an additional layer of security to your account by requiring more than just a password to sign in. So if you want to enable it, just go and click on enable two-factor authentication to enable it. So to enable it, we'll have to go through three steps. The first one is simply set up an authenticator app. Of course, you will be able to use that or to do that with a phone. So you will require a phone for that. Of course, authenticator apps and browser extensions, you can even, it seems, use a browser extension in GitHub. I didn't know that. But it seems like you can use browser extensions such as 1Password. As you can see, it seems like an extension if you want to use it. It's okay. Authenti or Microsoft Authenticator, etc. And you'll be able to generate one-time passwords that are used as a second factor to verify your identity when prompted during sign-in. And then you can use the Authenticator app or browser extension to scan this QR code in here. So for me, I'm going to use the Google Authenticator app, but downloaded by my phone. You can use the same, or you can use one of the options that is here, or you can use another option that you may have. Make sure that you trust that app for sure. In my Google Authenticator, I will have, once I open my account and log in into my email account, I will find at the bottom right corner a plus icon. If I click on it, I'll have two options, scan a QR code or enter a setup key. So I'll click on scan a QR code and then I'll scan the code right here. Once I scan it, right away, I start having a code uh, that is changing during the time on my phone. So as you can see, if you didn't, or if you are not able to scan this code, you can click on setup key and you'll get your key right here. If you're using as an example an extension to enter that key right here, on the setup key of your uh, Authenticator app. So for me, I'll just enter the code that I have in my Google Authenticator right here. So 0983134. No need to change or to save that password that I just copied or you just copied for you. 
because this will keep changing constantly every 20 minutes oh, sorry 20 seconds so as you can see download your recovery codes as you can see you can use your recovery code as a second factor to authenticate in case you lose access to your device we recommend save them with a secure password manager such as one password authenti or keeper you will be able to do so or so make sure to click on download and download it into your pc and make sure to have it on a usb or something like that so i'll just type or click on i have saved my recovery codes and as you can see you have enabled the two-factor authenticate or authentication using your authenticator app so don't get locked out configure additional authentication methods configure additional authentication methods will help you gain access to your account in case you lose your device and don't have your recovery codes so you can add some pass keys if you want to and as you can see pass keys are password replacement that is validates your identity using touch facial recognition a device password or a pin you can even use a physical hardware based security key like a ub key or something like that or you can download GitHub on your mobile phone. And of course, your phone can be used as a 2FA method. Enable, the, enable it by installing the GitHub mobile app for iOS through here or through Android through here. Or just look for it on the App Store or Play Store and sign it in to your account. Once you're done, click on done and you'll find the two-factor authentication is added in your GitHub account. If you want, you can simply go here and click on edit as an example and we will find this right here you can of course an example if you're changing your app or something like that you can go and change it by scanning this qr code again and entering the code again and click on save if you want to change it if you want to remove it that's another story so yeah that's gonna be basically it make sure of course to recover the code that they give you make sure to have it in a secure place so they don't get lost and there you have it you successfully enabled the two-factor authentication on your github account in 2024 with the 2fa or two-factor authentication in place your code repositories are now better protected against unauthorized access so remember to keep your authentication method secure and consider saving recovery codes for added peace of mind so happy coding and if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. If you have any questions or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. So goodbye.